In 2017, a team of four students from Dublin Institute of Technology, Evan Dowling, Daniel Morgan, Owen Cummins and Owen Bracken, won a competition titled Where There Is No Engineer, Designing for Community Resilience. Concern was looking for the best practical engineering and product development solutions to global issues. The winning project was a biochar kiln. The kiln will help sustainable agriculture by helping rural farmers and communities to create their own biochar. The competition was coordinated by DIT's Development Technology in the Community Research Group, together with Engineers Without Borders Ireland, and was supported by Concern Worldwide and Irish Aid. The team went to Nepal, where they were met by Concern Worldwide and set about the project. The first challenge was to find local materials to build the kilns locally. The first spot that we found was this manufacturing site with um, a couple of corrugated sheetings and some raw materials of some steel sheets. Um, so we just spoke with the manufacturer and they, they seemed that, 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 they're, that they're well able to do it. Um, we just have to make a few alterations to our design um, regarding the type of thicknesses that are here and just sort of the materials, but um, I think it's a good result. 68% of the population of Nepal are subsistence farmers and because biochar can improve crop yields, the kiln is a very inexpensive way to improve agricultural conditions without the need for expensive materials. So we're just uh, trying to get pilot holes going through the, the steel so that the, the bigger drill bit will go through it more easily. Um, we're just having a bit of trouble trying to get the, the bigger drill bit through, so we're trying to work on a uh, solution to get around it. They worked with local fabricators and produced two working prototypes within a day, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, so they got the prototype working, a uh, little bit of problems with getting the lid on, uh, a little bit too much smoke coming out, but uh, we'll work on that tomorrow and uh, hopefully get more of a cleaner burn and reduce the amount of smoke. Uh, so it was great to get that uh, tested today, so we can improve on it tomorrow and then the day after. Then the team travelled to the village of Bittajor, where they met with the Village Development Committee and explained the benefits of the biochar kiln. We are uh, from Ireland, um, we are friends and we are a team. Um, that have um, done a project specifically for Nepal um, and we're going to do a demonstration on um, <coughs> what is biochar. Uh, so we've, uh, we've looked at um, what resources you have in your community uh, in Nepal, um, in Bittajur, um, and it's, it's, it's organic material and what you can use biochar for is as a, a really natural uh, soil fertilizer um, to increase um, the growth of, of plants uh, while you plant. In the end, the team gave two working biochar kilns to local farmers. Now, engineers from Concern and local officials are committed to continue the work and to monitor the progress of the project. Amazingly, all of this was done in just four days. And the team is grateful to Concern Paula and Previn, local government and all of the other organisations involved.